real quick video on the frame uh, removal on this 2000 Lexus RX 300 and some goodies I got today from the junkyard so we got the engine supported and what I did I jacked the engine up a little bit and uh, jacked it up off the frame uh, so when I get ready to go back up the frame, I won't have to jack up the frame and the engine. I got me like a, uh, at least a uh, inch, uh, probably about an inch between the motor mounts and the frame because this side here has the studs to go through the frame. And so, but uh, I took both my jacks, got up under it, hit these four bolts and the back brackets where the main bolts go through it's got some 14 millimeters and they go straight up through the uh, body uh, towards pointing towards the back but uh and I got the rack and pinion uh, uh, hanging there and I got a ratchet strap going from each tie rod in across the car and uh, to the other side and I got it hanging. I got a strap on the sway bar well a zip tie kind of holding it. I hate I couldn't get it to really um, stay up there. I think I might try and get it up there a little more but the reason why I didn't take the sway bar off is because it runs between the uh, over the pipe and uh, between the rack and pinion and the exhaust pipe and it would have been too hard to get it out because it snakes through there so I just undid the four uh, hangers they bolt right here on each side it's got the bushings in it lights to break and I zip tied one end uh, I don't know if you can see that. Zip tied it there on the rack. I was trying to get it even enough where it's, it'll stay there, but it came down. But uh, frames on the ground, engines hanging. Uh, I found out something on this car. Somebody has put a axle in, and what they did, they ran the wrong bolt up through the uh, center bearing hole there and that bolt is supposed to keep that uh, center shaft bearing if that clip comes off it's supposed to keep that bearing lock it in place well somebody must have lo lost the screw and they ran a real long screw up through there <clears throat> and I took that screw out and uh, it damaged the uh, center bearing uh, housing it just cracked it when I went to knock it out of there the whole thing just flew apart and you can see right where it cracked they ran a real long screw I wish I had the screw I don't know what I did with it but I was gonna get another bearing for it and then I couldn't find one only probably Memphis bearing uh, this place called Memphis bearing here it's got one I checked uh, O'Reilly's and AutoZone, they don't carry it. So, LKQ had a half off sale today. And I went down and they had three of those trucks, cars, and I got just the whole axle uh, with the bearing already on it. Pretty good. And also, I got the right. Uh, Screw. This screw here is supposed to screw up in there, and it's got that little notch on it, uh, and that's supposed to press against that bearing housing or bearing race, keep it from sliding out. And it needed a driver's side axle because the boot was busted, so I found this one. Uh, let's see. Got it covered up. Pretty good axle. Looks like it's been replaced. It's got a lot of grease in it. 
the boot's not busted. So uh, that'll go on the driver's side. Which that flange, I tried to knock it out of the transmission at the junkyard. It wouldn't come out. So that flange is just in there. Unless it does, and I just didn't have the right tool or something to pop it out. But I just undid the, uh, the uh, six Allen head screws and uh, got it out of there because the uh, axle, as I showed in the last video, the boot is busted. And it's real waggedy. Waggedy. <laughs> it's real loose what the joint is because uh, the grease has flew out of there. But this side was good. Looked like somebody replaced it in the past. That's the side that actually hooks to that center uh, shaft that I showed you. And uh, they put this axle in. I guess they lost the bolt that's supposed to go to that thing. And they just took a regular old bolt with a point on it and uh, ran that sucker through there. And at first, I thought that was what making the uh, transmission not go in reverse. Because I thought maybe that bolt was uh, lodged uh, in that bearing and locking it up, but it would roll forward. So I don't think the bolt had anything to do with it. Even so, if it did, the transmission was whining real loud like the pump was uh, bad and making a loud sound uh, when you put it in gear. So even if it did, that's probably what burnt the transmission up. Uh, I didn't fool with it too much. Just got another one and we're gonna stick it in there with all the right stuff and give it a shot. But just a quick video. What's going on? Got the frame out. I'm gonna drag it away from up under there, and I'm gonna get my uh, jack. It's got my transmission uh, plate on it. Get it up under the pan and unloosen the bolts I got holding it, and get this sucker on down. And we'll get the new one ready uh, to go back up and. Um, Get it in there and drive it, see what it do. So hopefully it works out. But anyway, holla at you later.